The on-screen information displays will now be explained. This is the message guide. It shows what you should do now. The wind strength and direction meter. This shows when there is no wind. A weak wind is blowing. It has little effect on handling. This wind is stronger than a breeze and has some effect on handling. A strong wind is blowing. Handling conditions will be affected by wind direction and speed. Great care must be taken when hovering. The wind is blowing in the direction the meter is pointing. This is the altimeter. The units are feet. One foot is about 30 centimeters. This is the rate of climb indicator. The units are feet travelled per minute. Plus indicates climbing speed, minus indicates speed of descent. The larger the figure, the faster the climb or descent. The gauge next to the rate of climb indicator shows the position of the corrective lever. The lower the gauge, the lower the lifting power. The more the gauge rises, the greater the lifting power. If you press the L1 button, lifting force rises and the aircraft ascends. If you press the L2 button, lifting power decreases and the aircraft descends. This is the airspeed gauge. The units are knots. One knot is about 1.8 kilometers per hour. If you bank the aircraft using the left analog stick, speed increases and you move in that direction. This is the navigator which shows the destination. The destination is in the direction indicated by the arrow. This is the time limit. When the timer reaches zero, the mission has failed. This is the target guide. The distance to the destination is shown. This is a point guide to the area of the destination. Where you land and where the wire hook is dropped is shown inside this. These are the names and life gauges of the victims. The gauge turns yellow as it gets lower, and if rescue occurs at that time, points scored will be deducted. The camera views are explained next. What is shown now is the view of the area outside the aircraft. If you press the circle button, you will get this view. If you press the X button, you will get a long distance view outside the aircraft. If you press the triangle button, you will get the pilot's viewpoint from inside the aircraft. If you press the square button, you will get a radio control style view. The radio control point of view shows the aircraft from the destination site. For all points of view other than the radio control, 
it is possible to change the camera angle freely using the directional buttons. Finally, an explanation of other screen information. Equipment that is currently fitted is shown here. It will inform you by flashing when it comes to using equipment during a game. When using equipment, either the R1 or R2 buttons can be used. The rescue situation on missions where victims are rescued is shown here. The figures below right are the total number of people to be rescued on a mission and the number that have been rescued so far. Water tank gauge. This is shown on missions where water cannons are fitted. When the water is delivered, the gauge falls. The gauge goes up when you fill up with water. This is the end of the lesson. We recommend that you do a test flight in free flight. Good luck.